So here's the box to the armrest. It's just a Chinese armrest thing for my car, since it doesn't come with one. There's one side showing you how to do it. Top doesn't look any special. The sides. Just the average stuff that you expect on a little cheap product like this. I'm still a little unboxing for anyone who likes this sort of stuff. So when you open it up, you're greeted with this little thing here, foam thing to protect it. Then you got this piece. Which at the moment I have no idea is for what or where it goes. I'll set that to one side. And then next up you got this piece, which I'm guessing goes on top of the first piece I just showed. Put that to one side as well. Then next you got the actual armrest. Slide that up protected with two more pieces of foam and some tape, which I will try and rip open. So, there's your foam. Get rid of this plastic. And the other piece of foam. And here's the armrest. It's actually no, it's a cheap material but the top actually feels like this bit here. It actually feels nice and soft actually. I kind of like how this bit feels but the rest of it like the side and stuff you can hear it's plastic and I bang the top you can tell it's got some extra pad into it at the top but the sides don't really have that and this is kind of like a cheap plasticky feel but other than that I kind of like it what are these oh little storage compartment and another one that's quite cool opens up here then you have a little compartment and it can open up again and you have a big compartment with a nice textured floor to it and it comes with some screws which I'll set to one side overall it looks quite decent not too bad and it extends. But, you didn't come for an unboxing video, so enough of this. And I'm gonna put it in the car now and show you how to do that. All right, so I'm back. And no, this is not the car, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. How do you even say that? I don't know. But this also comes in the box, the instruction manual. And it looks pretty simple. I don't even have to go to the car to do this bit. So I can just do this outside the car and then put it inside the car. So I'll just show you that now. So you get this first piece, which it came with. And then this top piece. And it has like a little groove, like two grooves here. And this is for the armrest to slide into to keep it in place when this is on top of the first piece. So the bit that allows it to go in here, this is the back. So as you can see, the front is this bit because it stops here, so it slides in this way. This is the back, and you put that to the back of this, which is the side with the curve that goes down like that. So this is the back, 
So you put both backs together, like so. And then there's four holes, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Then with the provided screws, which it came with, you just have to screw these in. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, I've just looked in the package and it's come with these two things. I have no idea what they're for, so I'm just gonna skip past this. All right, so I'm gonna put one screw in here. Now there's actual holes in this as well, as you can see at those four corners. And that's what the screw is going to go into. So you gotta make sure that they're lined up. This should be lined up now. Just gonna screw that in. Sorry for the bad camera angle. All right, that one's tight. So it's not coming off anymore. And the gaps have closed up quite nicely all around. So I'm just gonna put in the next three of them. There we go, this is now on there. It's not coming off. And you don't hear any rattling or anything. So that's good. So essentially, what this is gonna do is, that's gonna be set in place in the car. The armrest comes along, as you can see here. There's the two bars, which are gonna, then, oh, whoops, which are then gonna slide into that gap. And it's gonna sit on top like this. looks a bit weird but it won't look too bad when it's actually in the car so now I'm gonna go to the car and actually fully put it on inside the car all right so we're in the car now and here is the cup holder which is in the main center console area so this is the driver seat passenger seat back seat is back here. so what we're gonna do is we have this circle bit here this is going to insert into the cup holder with this front part facing the front of the car. So not this back part, but the front part here. One thing I've just realized about this, which is gonna be annoying, is that I've now lost my main cup holder. Cause in the Mark V Polo, I'm not gonna lie, the two front cup holders kind of suck. I don't like them. This one was my main cup holder. I don't really drink much drinks in here, but still, I'm gonna miss it. There is some padding around this to keep it in place firmly in here. So we'll see how well that does. So if you just put it in there and then shove it down. Sure, it's in there real good. All right, that's in there good. You shake this, the whole center console shakes, which is nice. Now, just gotta get your armrest with the front of it facing to the front of the car. Just slide in these two line things into the lines here. It will probably make a nice satisfying click noise. I'm gonna lift up my back seat actually, because the space is kind of limited. Yeah. 
so it's in the grooves. Click it forward. Right, that sounds like it's as far forward as it's gonna go. So now, put my back seat back down. Now this is in there. You can slide this forward. Let me get a better angle of this for you. Alright, so there it is. This is it from outside the car. Come on, focus. It suits the interior kind of nicely. If you go in, this is what it looks like. Not sure if you can see it through the windscreen. Ground again to the back seats. This is what it looks like from the back. It's not the prettiest thing from the back. I'm not gonna lie. Who knows, maybe I haven't installed this correctly, but I did it to uh, what looked like made sense. Got the little compartment here. You got this one here. As I said, not sure if I installed this correctly, but if I have, I already have one fault for it, is that it looks very shaky. Like I can easily shake it with my finger. It doesn't look nice and sturdy in there. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I don't like how shaky it is. I'm not a fan of that. Now to see what it's like actually using it. So I'm here now, I'm not in the driver's seat, just in the passenger seat. If I put my arm in it, how it normally is, it's all right. But it's not all that comfortable. But if I bring it forwards. Yeah, this feels much better. You can just wrist your arm on something. It feels, it feels quite nice. I'll give it that. It's not the most comfortable thing ever. I spent like, how much was this? I think it was like 25 pounds or something. As somebody who is pretty much broke, all the time if I knew it would be like this I probably wouldn't have bought it but it's not one of those things that you'll buy it and then be like oh this is horrible I shouldn't have gotten it but if you got it you got it you'll probably like it maybe I'm being too harsh on it but it's not bad I have to see what it's like to live with I was gonna test what my phone would look like in there but I'm currently filming using my phone so I will put my keys in there instead sorry for the bad camera angles I'm holding the camera with one hand so here's my keys here's the polo key just as a size comparison to how big this thing is there's the key in there shuts easily with the key inside of it no problem there's still plenty more space here's my hand in comparison to it this is a very bad comparison test but you know uh, what else do I have in here some McDonald's tissue Here's a letter, like a normal 
oversized letter. It will not fit in there. There's the letter compared to it. Just as a rough estimation of how big slash small this is. smaller compartment if I put my keys in there. Oh wow, surprisingly actually closes all the way with my keys in the small compartment because there's a little bit here so it gives it a bit more space. But I wasn't expecting it to to be honest. And then there's this little compartment at the back. I feel like if I finagle it a bit, it will fit the keys, but that gap isn't all that big. Maybe you could fit a pack of chewing gum in there or something like that. But, yeah, all in all, it doesn't seem too bad. I quite like it. My only major complaint would be the shakiness of it. Like, it shakes a bit. Yeah. So it lets you score about two minutes. Not that hard. Might as well. So this is the end, if you like the video then feel free to like it or subscribe, check out some of my other videos, you might find them interesting, but yeah, till next time.